Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. So, uh, in this video, we're going to be looking at how I personally do my figures. Um, now, it's not something I do very regular. Um, so sometimes it takes me a little bit of uh, a couple of goes to, to get these looking hopefully relatively decent um, and for people to go that, well, that looks all right with her going that looks absolutely awful what have you done um because you know with we especially with dioramas and when you're putting figures in and i always tend to find and i'm sure most people agree adding figures in can really make or break a model i mean i've seen some and um you know people have done absolute fantastic jobs on um We'll say a vehicle, uh, or like the case, this is a vehicle, and figures are quite as good. I know I'm saying like an absolute hit it, but you know, it, I'm, I'm, I'm sure some of you will, will agree with that. I'm not being big headed in the slightest because my figures aren't exactly amazing anyway, um, as I'm sure you'll probably gather through this this episode. Um, but again, this is just because it's not something I usually do, and I've not really done this on a video before. Um, so I'll just just give basically just giving you a bit of an insight on how again how I do my figures, um, and kind of how to do faces. So don't take this you know as like this is how you should be doing it and stuff like that. But um, particularly looking at eyes, um, which is always the one particularly in the scale is. Um, something you've got to be very careful of. Um, you know, you don't want big bulging, guppy eyes. Um, you know, so um, there'll be at least one tip in here. I'm sure most people will be able to take from this um, for definite. Um, but yeah, I says, this is just. I know I'm repeating myself here. But this is literally just me showing you how I do it. So it's not a tutorial by any means. Um, and I did also say, and I kind of regretting I said it in the last video, this is what this video was going to be. Um, so, this is how I do figures. So just very quickly before we actually go into uh, the paint, I'll show you the figures themselves in a bit more detail. Um, they're by Masterbox, they actually come within the Tamiya kit. Um, and they come with all sorts of accessories from uh, kit bags, water bottles, um, binoculars um, and obviously some weapons um, the detail on these is really really good um, they're quite clean um, okay yeah there's some seam lines uh, that need to be uh, removed so just as you can see there just with a, a sharp knife and uh, just take that away they're very easily uh, put together um, they're generally in sort of like uh, five or six parts um, so like you know a leg a piece um, obviously which is quite useful uh, the main torso is generally um, one singular part the arms and obviously the head um, in the case of some of these uh, in two of the figures uh, they have um, shamal uh, headdresses um, which is the only they're a little bit fiddly because uh, one comes in two parts and one comes for some reason in three uh, so they're a little bit fiddly um, to sort of put together those with well, those parts in particular uh, but generally um, the assembly of these figures are really simple and you know very quick um, to be able to put together um, I says these are great figures I have used them um, in other another kit uh, once before and they are really good um, so you know have a look out for those if you if you're thinking of doing some figures um, says that they're, they're really nice really well sculpted and this is very easily uh, put together. Right, so um, painting faces, um, particularly the eyes, which is one of the ones um, you know you kind of want to get right, um, you know, because a lot of the time what you see uh, with figures, because the eyes is the hardest part uh, on these, um, is what they get called is the Popeye effect, which basically has <laughs> a really big white eye. With a big black sponge in the middle and it just literally just pops out and um so what can't play my plate today so what you want to do is uh with your eyes you want to base them in an actually an off-white color you don't want 
bright white because that just stick out too much. So what I have used is a bleach panel liner. As you can see, it's, it's like a an off-white uh, sort of colour. And then with a fine brush, if we can get this right. I've already had a couple of attempts today. It hasn't gone down very well. So I just want a bit of a black. And you kind of want to make kind of like an oval or like a bit of a, a slit. Some like, you know, like a snake eye kind of thing. Something like that. Hopefully that will work. There we go. Looks amazing, I know. Uh, so it's always quite good to sort of just work over the eye. So it's like, you know, you've completely fill it because it gives you some room to play. Now what I'm using, because I'm using the AK set, so I've already based this in base flesh. Um, used an airbrush, uh, through the airbrush for this. Gives us a nice flat base. And what I'm gonna do, without too much water on my brush, is basically paint back his eyelids. Water on that. So start with the corner of the eye and then work your way out. Take your time with it, doesn't matter if you don't quite get it there in the first time, just slowly work your way up. See the chunks of large chunk of paint in the eye. So the more you work with it, with a bit of luck, you'll get like small pupil that doesn't completely bulge out. Now, admittedly, sometimes some figures, and these are those type of figures where it's not actually quite easy. The way that the eyes have been sculpted, uh, they're almost non-existent. But I'm gonna try anyway. Okay, so I think hopefully we can get an idea from that one. That's kind of what we want to be looking for, is they don't pop out too much. You've got some peepers. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is work our way up uh, the colours. It says I'm using the AK uh, figure range. Um, there is another couple of colours in there which are... Um, sort of shadowing cheekbones. I don't tend to use these mainly because I can't do it the way they do it. Um, so, <laughs> but I, I says, all I'm doing is showing you the way I uh, do my figures. I don't do them very often, admittedly, because I've got to admit I do struggle uh, sometimes. It's mainly with the, the skin tones. But so what we're going to do is says so we're going to work our way up, and every time we're going to mix sort of basically each one uh, together. So. Uh, what we'll be doing next is uh, base flesh with the, the hint of uh, light flesh and sort of adding more of that in and then um, with the light flesh with the highlights um, almost to the point where it's just again pure highlight uh, paint uh, in the end but what we need to do is because these guys are obviously serving out in um, Africa, North Africa um, we don't want to go too light, we still want to give them somewhat of a tan. So, for me, this is going to be a bit of a challenge. So, as you won't be able to see, because I've got them on the side, but I've dabbed uh, a splodge of each colour. 
and mixing them uh, together with a bit of water. water in there. Should be okay. So the way I work is basically uh, from the nose and the cheekbones outwards and the eyebrows and sort of working our way sort of sideways and then down uh, as well. So you, you want to work in um, small layers, giving the paint a chance to to dry as well. You just don't want to overdo it and you know, sort of flood anything or want to take your time with it. So what I tend to do when we come to about here is bring the eyebrow over to the icon. Sort of same with the cheek. Basically, most mostly what you want to be trying to do is sort of highlight, you know, all those raised um, areas. Same with like this is across the ear. And I'm going to admit this is probably not going to be pretty because sometimes it takes me several, <laughs> several attempts to get this uh, right. So. Do tend to do is come down the side. So now there is going to be a beard here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it just in case, as I would normally. So I'd go across the chin. And sort of leaving a bit of a bit in the cheek there for a bit of shadow. tell is not really much of a noticeable uh, difference in the colour but this is that's the way I tend to do it is just slowly work my way up but again because these guys need a bit of a suntan okay so it says it's only very slight to the neck at all on this one, just remember it. Or he's easy even, because he's got a shamar on his head. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave that to dry uh, for a little bit and then come back and put the next um, next layer on. Okay, so this layer is pretty much uh, light flesh and there's a slight hint of that base flesh in there and again it's the same pretty much the same process all the way through this um, but it's just just working up the um, just working up the color base basically try not to put too much water on you want it in thin thin layers as I say so it might take you a few a few coats the same sort of mix on every layer but with these with figures it's a bit of a, a patience is key uh, with this
rules to do is the same colour. It's a little bit on his bottom lip. Let that stand out. do with that is really really watered down barely anything barely anything not a splodge so, mix that in there it's a bit of a mess on it like I says it takes me a few attempts doing exactly the same thing over and over again I'll get, I'll get there and eventually this is figures is not my strong suit but eventually, sometimes they turn out all right. With a bit of luck, most of these you probably won't see off faces very well, but uh, see what happens. But he ain't looking too bad. Um, do I put another layer on? Is the question. So like I says, he wants to have a bit of a sun tan. Uh, we'll have a think. Uh, says so we'll let this dry, and uh, we'll see how that looks then. Okay, so we're going to do his beard. Uh, so I'm using uh, Vallejo's uh, Burnt Umber from the Model Color range and a little bit of Bone White from the uh, Game Color. Uh, so I've mixed a little bit of that Bone White into the Burnt Umber. And I've got it quite, uh, as you see here, quite wet. We'll run uh, thin because we want to try and blend with the skin. I think what this may be is a couple of light layers. I think to get that to work. There's not really much going on there. So I'm going to try and build it up, I think. Because we don't want sort of a hard beard line. On, I'm kind of well, part part painting it, part sort of stippling. I'm just tapping it on. Okay, so I think that's enough for now. I think we'll let that dry out and uh, come back to it and go from there. So I'm gonna add, I've added a little bit more brown to this. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the same as I did before.
so there we go i think i'll probably do that again uh, add some more brown i kind of do this in reverse and uh, yeah it's not looking too bad at that thing that's uh this guy's face done um i says i'm not a pro by any means um we're doing figures and um, particularly faces um but you know i just hope it gives you an idea of of doing them um so it says you, you know you want to pie um very thin layers and and building your way up to up through those uh, colors um and hopes she gives you a good idea on how to do those eyes as well um you can do the same process without actually you know needing to do the eyes uh, so some of these eyes they're not always very well sculpted and they're a bit difficult to um pick out but i says i just hope this gives you guys um you know a bit of an idea looking at uniforms uh i basically do this pretty much in the same way as i paint the faces uh really uh so what we've done is because uh, I actually did this slightly wrong. Um, I originally based this in uh, Olive Drab uh, from Tamiya. Um, I started highlighting it with uh, Phil Gray again by Tamiya, um, which wasn't the right option. Uh, so what I've done is sort of roughly based it again and picking out uh, the creases. Normally with um, green, uh, you kind of want to be lighting it with the yellow, especially with the uh, bleaching, because um, green generally is, a, on an olive, is a, is a black and yellow mix. So, what I'm actually doing, I'm actually not using uh, yellow, I'm actually using uh, Tamiya's buff, in the case of this one, to lighten it, and fairly thinned um, paint, Again, because you're going to want to be applying a few few layers, and all we need to really do is just start by picking out again all those um, highlighted areas. This will take a few coats potentially, especially the fact that I've really watered this down way too much. So let's add a bit more paint together. Not, I always admit, figures are not quite uh, my forte. Uh, I do quite enjoy doing them, but I'm, I'm still still learning. So like I said at the start of the video, this is not uh, a tutorial by any means. This is just literally showing you um, how I paint my figures. And for me, sometimes it takes a bit of... Um, a little bit of messing about and potentially re going over um, stuff until it sort of looks right. I do have the same thing uh, with the faces, um, particularly because I don't do them very often. Uh, so it does sometimes take me a couple of attempts to, to get it right. And I'm not one for spending hours and hours on figures and highlighting them um, it's also not quite the way I like it either um, sometimes I tend to find it makes it look a bit a bit cartoony and admittedly though I have seen some uh, that have done like that they, they are quite good and in all honesty they're, they're a lot better than the way I the way I can do them anyway so I'm not completely knocking them it's just this is it's not my you know preference if you like um, on you know how I'd like a figure um, how I'd like a figure to look it's like everything else we all have uh, preferences in the way we want things done so it doesn't mean it's always um, everybody's taste I just want to do this this video in particular is just just showing you how I do it um, you know says it's not 
my area um, really so I'm sure you probably get the weathering uh, aircraft and vehicles is more my thing but I do like figures now and again and you know sometimes it really does make it all you know come together you know really nicely as I, of course as long as, long as they're done good in the first place so It's, it's usually just you know just making things um, you know stand out a little bit more it's rather just you know just the flat color we we'll do take a wee bit of time um, doing it although I'm doing this one a little bit quicker because I don't want to spend a long time doing this video for you guys don't want you getting overly bored As you can see there, that's 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 basically how I do it. Um, but you can see I've already done the top uh, shirt tunic, um, which I did uh, desert yellow again by Tommy. All these are Tommy. Yeah, I might as well make this easier. Um, desert yellow, and again mixing uh, buff in there to, to, to lighten that up, and then almost just on sort of I guess say like the caps of the shirt if you like, you know, so the, the sharper parts where the creases are. Um, that is pretty much just straight up buff um, there just to make make that all um, stand out um, you know so I mean even sometimes after it's dried it, it can look a lot different to this so this may not look as bad as it does now <laughs> but uh, we'll see how that looks when it dries I might have to potentially redo it or maybe put a um, a little wash in them potentially uh, to, to get that to blend in um, all together but just to show you one actually I'm actually quite happy with this one I think actually has turned out quite well so a little bit of time to, to do this one um, but I, I was said before um, in posts if you see me post on like Facebook in particular and Instagram um, I had a commission job so it, it's took me a long time to get these figures done we've been starting them and I don't want to keep it too long uh, between the videos. Um, so yeah, sorry this is not done particularly well. Um, but again, I just uh, literally this video anyway was just going to be showing you basically how I do it, um, and hopefully give you guys a bit of a rough idea um, on how to paint faces and, and figures. There are much better videos out there uh, than this. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm fully aware of that but um, as I said, just to show you guys how, how you know I do this sort of thing because it's not something I do um, very regular so there you go that's at least one figure done so there, so there we go guys um, that was a bit squeaky there we go guys um, that's how I kind of do figures uh, so it's not a forte of mine um, it's something I still really really do need to work on quite a lot um, so yeah so maybe in the future um they may look a lot more presentable um but you know we'll see when we get towards uh, the end of this series um when it starts all going together um i did have a bit of a, i'm gonna say it's not really a blip but I, I was asked to do a commission and it was kind of someone had to really rush uh out um so it, it it took me a lot longer to get this video out and I really wanted to get it done fairly quick. I didn't want to leave a massive gap between the videos um, for you guys. Um, not that this one's a particularly fantastic one, I, I will admit. Um, but yeah, hopefully, um, I mean, this is obviously going to take me a little bit of time um, to get these done. Um, but I think the... Just looking at it now. Uh, yeah, the next video should be... Uh, well, actually, no, the next video will be um, the, uh, the main diorama itself, the base it's going to sit on. Um, and potentially that could be uh, the last episode. We'll have to see um, how it goes. So I'm not going to make any promises just yet. Um, we'll have to wait and see uh, in the next video. So thanks very much uh, for watching. Um, I hope you've 
kind of enjoyed that um but stay tuned for the next one um but if you have enjoyed uh, the video um please you know like or subscribe to the channel um any comments um good or bad i'll, I'll take them uh you know um it does also help me as well um help um you know make better content for you guys um obviously at this time of making this one um still a young channel so um yeah i'll do anything um i can to help you guys out or just make some better for you guys to watch so yeah please like and subscribe to the channel comments um you can also follow us on facebook and instagram so thanks again and i'll catch you in the next one